Welcome to the Crazy Hat Chemist, so another video in gases. Bam! Today we're talking about the derivation of the SI unit for pressure. That is the International System of Pressure, the System of International Units, and this is for pressure. So, one meter square of air is 10,000 kilograms. Okay, so if you were to take the earth and you were to take one square meter of air, that would have one square meter of air would have the mass of 10,000 kilograms. From this information, we're going to derive the standard international unit for pressure. Let's keep on going. Now, from your physics course, you should know the following. Force is equal to the mass times the acceleration. So, what's the mass? That is 10,000 kilograms. What's the acceleration due to gravity? That is 9.8 meters per second per second. Bam! Okay, we're going to get the product of this. The product of this is 1 times 10 to the 5 kilograms times meters divided by second squared. Now, kilograms times meters divided by second squared has another set of units, and that is called the Newton. So, 1 times 10 to the 5 kilograms meters over second squared is equal to 1 times 10 to the 5, same number, newtons. Okay, not fig newtons, nuh uh, that's different. Okay, so the pressure is equal to the force divided by the area. I have the force that I just solved for, that's 1 times 10 to the 5 newtons, and what's the area? Look at the very beginning of this, I have 1 meter square of air, um, has a mass of 10,000 kilograms, so I know the unit of force, or sorry, I know the number for force and the number for the area, and I'm going to plug both those in, and this is really, really simple, and that's 1 times 10 to the 5 newtons divided by meters squared. And so newtons meters squared, we're going to call that something else. We're going to call that PA, and that is not for one of the elements that's on the periodic table, although you might find it on there. Okay, that is not an element from the periodic table. That is from Blase Pascal, and he was a French scientist, and he's the guy that did this stuff. Super cool, okay? And that is, this is equal to 1 times 10 to the 2 kilopascals. And this is the SI unit for pressure. That is 100 kilopascals. It's not one atmosphere. It's 100 kilopascals for the system international or the international system of uh, pressure units. Okay? Got that? That is super cool. Okay. I am the Crazy Hat Chemist, and this is one wild and crazy hat. I love this hat. This hat makes me go crazy. Give me a thumbs up if you like that video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And pass on my YouTube channel to all your cool chemistry friends. You've got to have some cool chemistry friends, don't you? Oh, yeah, you do. I know you do. That's right, you do. All right, bye now.